What is up everyone and welcome back to more Batman the Telltale series. Again, I'm so sorry that it took me so long to get episode 4 out to you guys, but I am back with the second half of this crazy episode. Like, there's always been crazy moments in the first three, but I just feel like overall episode 4 has really stepped it up on the weird spectrum. Now, we're here back in the Batcave, and I was going through our latest codex entries, and I realized that I didn't actually read out Catwoman's latest. So, I convinced Selina to stay with me for a bit, but Harvey's latest round of craziness seems to have driven her out of town for good. She thinks Harvey finding us together in her apartment is what sent him over the edge. But I think it's more complicated than that. Either way, she's off for parts unknown, and I'm not sure if I'll ever see her again. My feelings about her departure are more complicated than I could have predicted. That's because you like her! So let's have a look at the Gotham feed. Mayor Dent's private security raises concerns. Mm. Newly elected Gotham Mayor Harvey Dent has barely moved into City Hall, but it's already apparent this administration will be quite different than the last. Look no further than the mayor's recently appointed private security team manning checkpoints throughout the city. Though a spokesperson for the mayor says the checkpoints have been set up in the interests of public safety, they declined to say where the newly hired officers come from. One thing's for sure, however, and that's the chain of command. These new officers report directly to Mayor Dent. Mayor Dent ran as a law and order candidate, and with these new and checkpoints... Wait, and with these new and checkpoints... Okay. Gotham will see that promise enacted, for better or worse. Wayne out of Arkham in less than 48 hours. <laughs> well, listen! Money! And power. <laughs> Gotham's most famous billionaire inmate barely had time to warm up his bunk at Arkham Asylum before he walked out the front door as a free man. Bruce Wayne was arrested two days ago after assaulting incoming Wayne Enterprises CEO Oswald Cobblepot at a press conference on the steps of the Wayne building. He deserved it, but anyway. The press conference was called after an emergency vote by the board of Wayne Enterprises to remove Wayne as CEO, citing recent troubling revelations about the Wayne family. Many felt his erratic behavior would lead to an extended stay in Gotham's notorious mental health facility, but less than 48 hours after being admitted, Wayne's release was secured by the Gotham City Police Department. Department officials had no comment on the matter. So I don't know if I... I'm gonna read that one. Oh, there's quite a few. While the GCPD's newly released crime statistics show an overall rise in violent crime across Gotham, the number of incidents involving the so-called Children of Arkham has dropped since the mayor's self-appointed enforcement squads have taken to the streets. In a fiery speech on the steps of City Hall, Mayor Harvey Dent took credit for the reduction in COA activity, claiming that the streets of Gotham would be lost without his personal leadership. However, Mayor Dent is not without his critics. Civil liberty activists issued a statement calling Mayor Dent's new policies materialistic and bordering on fascist. Fascist. I can never pronounce that word. The statement also blamed Dent for the overall rise in crime, suggesting that the mayor's enforcement squads contributed to a growing climate of chaos, of, and fear in Gotham. Gotham City Police now believe that missing Gotham Gagazette reporter Vicky Vale may have been kidnapped by the self-proclaimed leader of the Children of Arkham. In a video statement released late last night on the internet, the mysterious leader claimed to have kidnapped Vale as well as taking responsibility for a number of criminal acts, including thefts and targeted violence throughout the city. No motive for the kidnapping was given, although most assumed that some or all of Vale's journalism must have provoked the abduction. 
The GCPD has urged staff at all major Gotham media outlets to use caution and consider additional security measures. So Rene Montoya, the GCPD officer who allegedly shot mob boss Carmine Falcone, returned to duty this week after the GCPD Office of Internal Affairs dropped its investigation. The department found that Sergeant Montoya was not responsible for her actions after finding evidence that she had been drugged against her will with a powerful mind-altering substance. Her assailant has yet to be identified, though police suspect that the children of Arkham are involved. The scandal around the Falcone killing continues to be the subject of intense interest and speculation amid reports that billionaire Bruce Wayne offered to testify in Montoya's defense. It is unknown what, if any, relationship exists between Wayne and Sergeant Montoya. The GCPD continues to investigate a shootout involving Montoya while she was on administrative leave following the Falcone killing. The GCPD refused to comment on Montoya's involvement. However, the district attorney's office told Gagazette reporters that Sergeant Montoya isn't suspected of any wrongdoing. So there is a lot going on in this world right now. Luckily, the Bat Computer's equipped to fabricate a counteragent. I helped design that computer, Bruce. No luck involved. <laughs> I All couldn't skill. help but notice the color makeover down here. Purple. A noble choice. I was thinking your bat suit could use a little splash of color. How do you feel about a purple cape and cow? <laughs> I'd have to be crazy to wear purple. No! You don't mean that. You don't mean that. Purple is the best color on the planet, okay? You know what's interesting though? Purple is my favorite color. But I don't own any purple, like clothing. What's this? I'm wearing green today. I got this dress when I was in Japan. I wanna go back. Anyway. This is the refined sample of the drug taken from Officer Montoya after she killed Falcone. Here's my DNA before the incident. It seems that the drug attaches itself to specific proteins in the genome structure. If we can modify the drug's molecular structure, we should be able to create a counteragent. Once you've figured this out, we'll have a working antidote. We can cure others affected by the drug. No. I wish that were possible. It's based on the individual's DNA. We'd have to sample and decode the genome structure for each and every person to make them a cure. We don't have the time or resources for that. That's why we were lucky to have mine on file already. Sorry, I was too busy listening to what they were saying. Um, so I can only go left or right. Okay, that's fine. I was like, what, what the hell am I doing here? <laughs> okay, so that's that one. That's that one. That's it. Easy peasy. I can cure the world. That should do it. Good lord, imagine it was that easy. Imagine it was that easy. I don't imagine it'll be much fun. No, don't make me do it. I don't like these can I have a phobia of needles okay I don't like any of this uh... I'm pretty sure you could have got one of the boys to do that you didn't have to do it yourself <gasps> work. hopefully that does the trick it'll work feel better already so what are we going to do now First things first, I need to know what Vicky, Lady Arkham, has been up to while I've been away. Search for all children of Arkham recent activity. <laughs> the press is reporting that Vicky Vale is missing. Yes, and obviously the police have yet to find a body. <sighs> that woman trying to get the scoop on you, pretending to care. Listen, I didn't care about her, she not really. you. Alfred's pissed. I never trusted her. There was always something off. Your instincts are very rarely wrong, sir. She was playing me the entire time, breaking me down. 
She wanted me in Arkham. She wanted me to feel what my father had done to all those people. Bruce. There were bigger plans than me, Alfred. Batman stopped her at the Skyrail station, and I can't believe that she isn't finding another way to use the drugs. Well, if that's true, she may be more dangerous than ever. I know, I know. I, uh... met someone in Arkham who gave me a tip on how to find her. A tip? Do you really think you can trust someone in Arkham Asylum? I was in Arkham the Asylum. The intended toward your recent time there, of course. He knew that Vicky Vale was Lady Arkham. No one else has that information. I suppose that's not something we can ignore, trustworthy or not. He told me that if I want to know what she's planning, then I should visit her parents' house. Shouldn't be too tough to locate them. Got it. Bruce, before you head out, I've got something for you. I call it a strobe grenade. Throw it at any surface and the ensuing light show will make you almost impossible to track. Perfect. Thank you, Lucius. Thank you. Least I can do after you invited me to come work in the Batcave with you. Aw, we love you, Lucius! Bruce. Yeah. If you do find Miss Vale, please, be careful. Alfred, I hope you know. Just to remind you. I am Batman, okay? I have this. It's all gonna be fine. I got this. I just wanna know what's going on with the Joker though. Was he real? Like, was he just inside my head this entire time because I was off my face, basically? Like, who knows? Okay. I'm inside the Vale House. Move deeper into the house to get a better look. Okay. Ugh. Alfred, the veils are dead. One body confirmed, but there is a lot of blood. Alert Gordon. Will do. I don't know how this is connected to the drugs yet. Whatever they knew about it, Vicky made sure they kept quiet. Her eyes! Oh! What the hell? Her eyes are gone! Her eyes are gone. Stabbed out. Oh! That's shoot! That's disturbing isn't the word I would use, but. There's an injection wound on her neck. Same kind Montoya and I both received, but this one's much worse. Wait a minute, you don't think that she got injected and then whatever she was seeing, she was like, no, and she took her own eyes out. You know, maybe. Syringe, seems she hasn't given up her old tricks. Is this the same drug? Yes. But this is several times stronger than the dosage I received. Maybe she's escalating. This seems personal. So, she killed her mom then? I mean, I guess we can link that to the neck wound. Same device, same drug. This confirms that Lady Arkham is the murderer. But if she was already on the floor, then why would she inject her after she's already dead? That doesn't make any sense to me. Recent family photo? Vicky's not in it. It shows the veils with another child in front of an industrial office. There's a logo on the building. What was the logo? Mm, okay, let's just cancel that. So those two are perfectly linked. Let's have a, a proper look around, shall we? It's a letter from Gotham Social Services about a monthly stipend for foster parents. Vicky's a bit old for that, isn't she? It's not for Vicky. They have a boy. 
This must be Vicky shortly after she was adopted. Okay, so obviously her parents just like to look after kids, you know? Absolutely nothing, nothing wrong with that. Everybody deserves a good home. Large amounts of blood spatter across the walls. It's not steady like arterial spray. Someone was swinging wildly. Wait, there's a slight indentation where something bloody struck the wall with force. Something thrown. Nothing I can see. I would, this is gonna sound really crazy, but I would love to do this job like an investigator. And I know it's messed up because you would see some freaking awful sights. You really would. But I just feel like I would really like to do like an investigate, the, 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 the investigative, yes, job. I found like a lot of hair. Anything unique about it? It was cut at a downward angle, probably with some force based on how clean the slice is. So where is the weapon? Was it a katana? Oh, good lord. Would that be it's sharp clean. enough? This wasn't used as a murder weapon. Okay. Then why was it lying on the floor? Was that used to cut the hair, do you think? It appears Mrs. Vale attempted to fight back with this knife, but only managed to slice through the attacker's hair. Okay, so she managed to slice Vicky's hair. I can't believe she killed her foster parents like that, though. I'm not ready to see what's behind that door yet. So there's a thing on the wall and a logo. I don't see how that... I don't see how that would have anything to do with the, the logo. Alfred found Mr. Vale. Alive? No. He's gone. Ten hours at least, judging by the state of his soft tissues. Oh, there's the logo. Looks like a company logo. The belt buckle is covered in blood. Before he was hung with the belt, Mr. Vale was beaten with it. How did she manage to take out these two people? Like, she's just a young girl. As you say, unless she drugged them first and then managed to do it, but... Still... This makes me really freaking sad. The logos match. Mr. Vale owned an oil and heating company. Looking it up now. Yes, he's got a sizable warehouse in the industrial district and a fleet of delivery trucks. And now Vicky's got it. Perfect. So she's going to deliver this whatever to whoever. Um so I need, I need a weapon or something to, I mean, surely I'm not linking the belt buckle to the wall because I, I don't see how that works. The indentation matches the shape of the belt buckle. It must have impacted with the wall during the attack. What exactly happened in that house? I think I know. After we stopped her at the rail station, Vicky needed a place to hide her supply of drugs. Her father's trucks and warehouse offered the perfect cover. To do that, she needed them out of the way. With Vicky Vale fully assuming her new identity of Lady Arkham, seems like she didn't need the veils around to support her old one. Vicky showed up to attack her adopted parents, but only the mother was there at first. Miss Vale fought back and was able to slice off part of Vicky's hair. Vicky then subdued her with the same drug she used on me, but a much, much larger dose. Nearly lethal. She then removed the mother's eyes, indicating a deeply personal motivation. This was obviously some sort of vendetta. Sometime during this, Mr. Vale entered. Vicky attacked him with his own belt, striking with the buckle until he was unconscious and bleeding out. Finally, she dragged him to the closet and hung him with the belt. The blood loss got him way before the hanging did. That's 
horrific. That is freaking she horrific. She never acted out in such a violent way before. Why would she? Alfred, I think someone's still in the house. Oh my god. Going to look for a heat signature. If anyone else is here, I'll find Is them. it the little boy? Clear. Nothing here. It's obviously upstairs. It's the little boy, isn't it? Oh god. Well, let's just check here anyway. Anything? No. It's because he's upstairs. There's someone here, under the stairs, alive. <laughs> it's okay. I'm not going to hurt you. Sir, is everything all right? It's a kid, Alfred. The boy from the photo. Is he all right? Aside from the shock and a few bruises, he seems okay. He might be able to tell me more about what happened. Uh, possibly. But if that's the road you go down, please do it with caution. I mean, he's obviously going to be messed up. You know what I mean? Like... <sighs> hey, it's going to be okay. Going to be all right. I'm sorry I scared you. It's going to be okay. Yeah. Yeah. I need you to tell me if you saw or heard anything. This is important. I I heard someone say something. Something about drugs, fighting the police. I don't know who. I don't know who because I didn't see anything. I didn't see anything because they're hidden here. Please don't send me to punishment. Calm down. See, that does help me. Thank you. Get down. I was gonna say, it's like drones or something. Woo, I was not ready for that. Well, hello, Batman. What a pleasure to see you. Tell me. Let me guess, you're trying to figure out our next move. Figure out where the drugs are. Did I get it? Am I close? Pathetic. I've got these little bat traps all over the city. But I should have known a good double murder would be what brought you out in the open. Ah! <laughs> okay, hopefully that little boy's gonna be alright. work kid <gasps> oh they're dead i'm so sorry that i couldn't save your parents you don't know how sorry i promise i won't stop until i catch the person that did this That's the thing. I mean, he lost his parents at the exact same age. You're the kid who saved Batman. And no matter what happens, no matter where you go, that will always be true. And I will always owe you one. Oh, that's like the cutest thing. Batman. Oh my God. He was the only survivor. 
Come on. Let's get you out of here. You saved me. No, you saved us, okay? Oh, Jesus. Was this the children of Arkham? Again? Why would they attack a family like the Vales? Because their daughter, Vicky, is Lady Arkham. She killed her own parents so she could use their company warehouse to stockpile the rest of her drugs. Vicky? Vicky Vale, the reporter? And so, who was the boy then? That boy was the Vale's adopted son. According to the papers I found, they were receiving a pretty significant stipend. He says he heard something about drugs and attacking the police. Can't confirm anything, but it sounds like the children of Arkham might be plotting something with those drugs against your people. Thanks for the heads up. The warehouse is Vale Oil and Heating. You should secure it as soon as possible. I'll get on it right away. What about you? I've got something I need to look into. Lieutenant! What's going on here? Securing the crime scene, Commissioner. Not anymore, you're not. I'm taking over this investigation. I can't risk you allowing Batman to contaminate our crime scene again. What? I just saved someone! Freaking loser. Whatever. Gosh, what a shame, though. Just think what she would have done to that little boy if he wasn't hiding. What did I tell you guys, though? I was like, journals are bad, okay? They're disgusting. Vicky. And so your bat stunner just didn't work? That's right. I have a bad feeling it was no accident. If not for Lucius's strobe grenade, I'm not sure what I would have done. Lucius, meet me at the back computer. There's something I want to talk to you about. Be right there. Let's get a closer look at you. No damage on the microfiber. Adhesion regulation reads normal. So, <laughs> it doesn't help that, like, I wasn't able to stop that attack, but maybe I was not supposed to anyway. You know, maybe it wouldn't have let me. Electricity conductor, everything looks functional. It should have worked. EMP functionality is all in the green. This doesn't make any sense. This is strange. This microchip is emitting a low bandwidth receiving signal, but it shouldn't be. Like the ones you shut down in the GCPD. Something like that. But Lucius had his eyes on the Wayne tag that the children of Arkham breached. This is something different. I'm here, what's up? Take a look at this. God, someone's found a way to get past my security upgrades. Not just someone, Oswald Cobblepot. I am so sorry, Bruce. If only I'd been at Wayne Enterprises. Maybe there was something I could have done. But I wanted him oh, here, yes. though. That sleaze Lee's Cobblepot at the heart of it all. Cut yourself some slack, Lucius. There's no way you could have known. I certainly don't blame you for it. Well, I still feel a little guilty. Looks to me like he's introduced some sort of bug into your network. That's how he's making my equipment malfunction? For now, but if he keeps it up, he could completely take control of your tech. My lord, that would be catastrophic. Is there anything you can do? I can try to work on your firewalls, but if I do anything too drastic, he'll know we're on to Um... I'm tired of being on the defensive. Why don't we attack him instead? I'm not sure, but I can certainly see what I can do. Thanks, Lucius. Uh, uh, Bruce, Lucius, you're going to want to see this. What is it? Reports of Children of Arkham activity are down. But these efforts do not come cheap. That's why I am formally seizing the Wayne Estate. So the corrupt wealth of Gotham's elite can go to the better purpose 
of protecting Gotham's common man. Mr. Wayne has 24 hours to evacuate his property and turn it over to the city, or he will be removed. You, you can't let that egomaniac throw us out on the street. I have to talk to him. Harvey is scared, paranoid, but he clearly views Batman in a favorable light. Then again, maybe talking to an old friend is what he needs. Harvey's behavior is unpredictable, random. Who knows how he will react either way. So, as Bruce, he hates Bruce because of the whole Catwoman thing. So, even though it would be nice to be able to go and have a conversation with him as Bruce, I'm going to go as Batman. Tonight, Batman saves Bruce Wayne. Yes, about bloody time. <laughs> I just don't think Harvey's going to be in the mood to hear what Bruce Wayne has to say. I mean, Christ, he tried to get me stuck in Arkham Asylum. Don't this up, Harvey. I don't know if that was the right thing to do. Why did I do that? I just can't... I just can't second-guess myself. Bit of a strange place to hang out, isn't it, Dent? Batman. Oh, you scared the hell out of me. Well, it's good to see you. <laughs> I was just telling someone how much I'd love to get you on my payroll. You've gone too far. Leave Wayne alone. Wayne? What, is this about the whole seizing his assets thing? You're not gonna break my legs, are you? <laughs> or maybe you're just gonna make threats. Words out that you don't get violent unless you have to. No. Not my style. Well, I guess I should count my blessings then. I'll admit, I'm surprised to see you helping Wayne. Seems kinda... small potatoes for you. Maybe you haven't seen the news, but he hasn't been the most upright citizen lately. Why should I do anything to help him? Why don't you just leave him alone? Why'd you have to do anything to be hurtful to him? Wayne was your friend. He put his faith in you, supported your campaign. He betrayed me! He lied to my face while sneaking around behind my back! Now Wayne is just another curveball this stupid city threw my way. Hill and his goons, the Waynes, the children of Arkham. I'm finally starting to understand, to see just how sick Gotham really is. To save Gotham, I need to do some bad before it gets better. Ready to go. Don't you dare. Do it. No! What did you do? Our Lady Arkham's drugs destroyed. Man, we lost a bunch of our own guys in the apartment next door. Jesus Christ. That blast was way bigger than you said! We must have taken out a whole city block with it! We stopped the children of Arkham. That's all that matters. That's what a leader does. I feel like I should thank you. Seeing as you did give Gordon that tip. Doing this, you're no better than the children of Arkham. You're worse. No, I'm saving Gotham. I doubt the police would see it that way. There has been some conflict with the police, that's true. Like Gordon. Oh, he really wasn't happy when I went over his head to get the location of the drug stockpile. But I had him taken care of. What? What did you say about Gordon? Oh my god. This is so bad! Where is he? No, hang on, Batman, hang on. I had to make an example of him. To get people to respect... Gordon's death is no one any good. Nothing will improve by increasing Gotham's body count. Batman, I'm sorry. It's like I told you. I... Crime Alley. I took him to Crime Alley. Oh, you son of a bitch! 
Oh, I know Batman doesn't kill, but my gosh, we should have thrown him over the edge. You and I thought we could work together. Why would I want to work with you? <laughs> Let's take a ride, gentlemen. Oh my gosh. Please tell me that we're gonna go get him. What the hell is this? Mayor Dent says you're getting in the way of protecting the city. Dent's got you brainwashed. No! He's trying to help! The children of Arkham are out of control, and no one, no one is doing enough! Well, Batman is about to, that's for sure. Ugh. Assholes. Batman! What a mess. Thank you, Batman. Save the thanks, and explain to me why I just watched half a city block go up in flames. Dent took out the warehouse with the drugs. The location that I gave to you. Are you accusing me of something, Batman? Just well, say. Well, how did he get the details then? Let's hear it. I only told you. Dent knows, so someone you talked to told him. <sighs> you know we're on the same team here. So stop leaning on me and let's figure out what happened. Tell me what you know. By the time I got back to the precinct, Dent already had the information. He strong armed it out of Commissioner Grogan. I didn't even have time to scratch my ass before I got hauled out here. Dent's position makes him dangerous. He's persuasive and he has power. Dent thinks that what he's doing is best for Gotham. Executions and martial law. I know. There's no saving him this time, Batman. There's no world in which he manages to set this right. There's no hope for a rabid dog. We need to lock him up and throw away the key. Oh, Jesus Christ. This is what it's come to. We have a lot of work to do. Everything is such a goddamn mess. But we gotta start somewhere. You know your officers, Jim. Take the people you trust and start hobbling Dent's army. Get your precinct back. You make it sound easy. No, it won't be. But if anyone can do it, it's you. You're trusted. <sighs> yeah. Gotta handle this first, though. We will get through this, Jim. I'm glad we're on the same side. that we can trust him. Because as you say, how did anybody else get that info? Lucius, what's the situation? I, I figured out how he's causing the feedback loop. He's somehow connected a, a black box computer to your encrypted network. God, it's like a digital battering ram. If he keeps this up, he could smash through the Batcave firewalls at any minute. He'd have access to the Bat computer. That's not the worst of it, I'm afraid. Alfred? Mr. Dent is pulling up to the manor as we speak, and he's not alone. Oh, you are kidding me! No! Whoa, 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 it wasn't ready! Sir, are you all right? Penguin's hacking assaults are getting worse. At this rate, he'll have my tech compromised by the end of the night. Only place he could be hacking me from is Wayne Enterprises. Well, I don't envy your position. Even Batman can't be in two places at once. Crap! I need to stop Penguin. You go to the Batcave and make sure Harvey doesn't find it. I understand. Time to go to work. I have to, like, I have to keep hold of my equipment because I can't be Batman without my equipment, you know? Like, it can't happen. Oh gosh, this is going to be intense. <laughs> hey buddy! Signal coming through, Lucius. Looks like it. I'll give you what support I can, but from here in the Batcave, I can only see what you can. 
so long as you can confirm Penguin's black box when we're in the lab. I can definitely do that. Just be careful, Bruce. No telling what kind of security he's had installed. I'm starting to feel like by having Lucius come with me, it's really hindering me in this episode here today. CEO. Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Does anyone have him? Useless you! You're all bloody useless! Oh! Hey, it's the bear! You're a dead man! Well, if it ain't the biggest bleeding pleasure to see your sour mug again! Glow while you can, Cobblepot. I'm taking you down. Mm, yeah? I don't think so. In fact, I think it's you who's gonna get beat by me. I'm pretty good in a fight, you know. Been in a few scuffles here and there. Yeah, how did you do against Bruce, huh? You seem pretty confident about that. Yeah, well I am. You know, I like your style, Batman. I really do. But you're really starting to be a pain in the ass. The children of Arkham are going to walk all over this city. And there isn't anyone who can stop us! Not even you! But this company, under my expert stewardship, with the technology being developed, we could control the nations. What are you and Lady Arkham planning? Oh, I'm glad you asked. You know, Wayne was thinking too small. He was only tinkering around. So focused on consumer technology. Lady Arkham, she has vision. That's why she made sure. <laughs> oh, I see. It helps you plan things out ahead of time. Neat trick, though. Pretty flashy for someone who only wears black. How? Oh. Not just for fashion, it's very functional. Face it, Batman. You're outmatched. Without your tech, you're just a man in a pointy ear costume. You can't stop us. Watch me. Oh gosh, it's gonna be fine. How can you fire in a man who's running right for you and still miss? It's almost done hacking your precious network. That's the device. A few more minutes, or your secrets are mine. I will stop you before that happens. Mm. Oh, oh my god! Shit. I like it. Oh shoot. Uh. Uh. Eww, this is gonna be awesome! Come on, Batman! Real. Haven't you learned yet? I've shut you down. I'm the one with the toys now, Batman. I mean, the fact that he 
thinks I don't have this anything on my sleeve. Come legacy. on. And I'm afraid you don't have any place in it. Oh, I do. Oh, oh yeah. Say goodbye. Say Nice, there goes one. And here comes the other one. You absolute bastard. I'm the psycho really man you can't stop us stay down or what you'll break my other leg mm -hmm. now you can do whatever you want to me but lady Arkham's plans are already in motion where is she what is she planning the message is the same as it's ever been we will open your eyes the city's hypocrisy will be exposed Tell me where to find her. Piss off! Oh, I'm not telling you anything. When she's ready, she'll find you. You're nothing but a pawn to her. And you're a fool if you think otherwise. You don't get it, do you? I'm not a pawn. I'm a soldier. I die before I sell out the cause. But you can help yourself by talking. I'll stop her either way. And while I'm at it, I will stop you hacking my shit. Thank you. Time to get rid of this thing. So, can I have my Wayne Manor back now, please? Thanks very much to the losers that put him in my office. What the hell? What the... Just cut me down, mate. <gasps> I mean, I couldn't be in both places! Ah! Sorry, was this really necessary? I mean, what will people say? <laughs> Just tell him Wayne put up a fight. <laughs> and Alfred and Lucius? No! Oh, I... I feel like I made, like, the wrong decision. I don't know. Burning down my place like that. Oh, God. So bad. So bad. Okay, this one's really divided um so 49 percent of us said that we would owe him a favor if he ever got released i wonder if that'll ever happen so 68 percent of us made a phone call i felt like i didn't really have a choice on that one because i wanted out so it made the most sense to me wow these are so close you know so yeah i wanted to ram the barricade because I ain't paying off nobody um, that's interesting yeah I felt like it was the right move to go as Batman because he wasn't gonna listen to Bruce anyway I mean he'd barely even listen to Batman anyway and that one again like I can do more as long as I actually have my gadgets but to see him set fire to the mansion? <sighs> like, Harvey is a massive douche lord. Oh my gosh. I can't believe he did that. What was he thinking, you know? 
Okay, so no trailer for episode 5 off the back of that one. That was such a good episode. I think that's my favorite episode so far out of like the four that I have played. So I will be back very soon with episode 5. I hope it's a bit longer. I felt like that last episode was really quite short. And I just wanted more, you know. But thank you so much for watching. Apologies that these videos have not been coming out very quickly. But they are back now. And I will catch you all in episode 5. Thank you for watching. Bye.